It happens. Most probable. Yeah, man. It's. I like seeing it, but everyone else will eventually like seeing it. That's just how it goes. As People getting beat there, with there's this, an uh, egg Yoshi fight egg. going on. <laughs> that's a sturdy egg. Most eggs would break in that situation. Yeah, that's a big egg, too. And Jewel just going in on PK Chris with the egg. All right, so Olimar, Joker. This is the setup for our grand finals. Yeah, I mean, this is the grand finals most people would have expected, uh, to be fair. Venia definitely was, uh, you know, spiced up the pot a little bit for this tournament. Indeed, indeed. So he did get the upset on the buzz in winter semis, but the buzz was able to get that run back, a 3-0 victory at that. A in, very confident. Yeah, right. very, very uh, confident 3-0 victory over Venia. And I mean, the set Venia won was a game five, you know, very, very close set. But getting right into it, we're going to go on Pokemon Stadium 2, and it looks like Joker versus Olimar here. So Olimar's got the benefit of being a bit on the smaller end, which naturally makes him a bit difficult for Joker to combo. But between all of the damage over time and all of the opportunity to activate Rebel's Guard, we're going to see the old funny man a lot in this set. Oh, yeah. You can Rebel Guard even when the Pikmin are attached to you doing the dot damage. Um, obviously, that gives... Olimar and opening to come in and punish you for it, but yeah. So very much in the same school of thought of like, say for instance, Smash 4 Cloud, you know Limit was always a feature. It was always something that you had to deal with. It was ever present. Right. Arsene is going to be filling that same niche here where it's like, all right, he's just always going to be out. It's always going to be something I have to worry about. I'll play as though I have to fight against this. And I feel like DeBuzz's game plan for fighting off against Arsene being active a lot needs to develop itself very quickly. Yeah. And this time, I mean, the last time they did play uh, looked like I mean, it was at Summit. And I, I, it's so funny because I always, like, have to instinctually not call Tweak Gavin because I'm just used to calling him Gavin. But, yeah, Tweak did go Wolf at Summit. So we're going to go with the Joker this tournament. But, yeah, I mean, it looks looks pretty comfortable. And we were talking about the matchup um, off stream earlier, and you were saying that you think Olimar can struggle a little bit with Joker. I mean, I, I feel like if you're a character that light, Arsene's just going to be a nightmare in general. Yeah, that's the thing is that, like, um, sort of hearkening back to our quality versus quantity thing we were talking about earlier, it's like those little hits that Joker gets, and he's known for getting a lot of those because he's naturally a more combo-oriented character. Right. But on Olimar, those hits matter so much more, and especially with the, wake, the Awakened Normals. Oh, like, yeah. It's all going to matter so much more because not only are they in general larger, but... Olimar's just going to die earlier. He's a lighter character. I, I like how you said that. Awakened normals. like That is what they're called. Really? Yeah. So those normals are woke. They, they stay woke. <laughs> that back air? <laughs> mm. And see, and like, this is just a scary situation because like, the buzz is definitely in kill percent. Just because you know the, these normals are so strong when Arsene's out. Trying to line up the fair. No. Okay, going to get to sh shoot up the guns here. But what's the ledge trap? There's not a lot of arsene meter left. And the forward air to retaliate against that corner pressure. I like it from the buzz. Yeah, that's the only thing that I like about this long-range aggro game that it seems that the buzz is trying to play is that just as often as Arsene's going to be active, he's also going to be leaving pretty often, too, as long as the buzz has his way. And he's going to maintain a little bit of a lead here. 93%. Definitely not that difficult for Joker to kill, maybe even without Arsene. But... We'll see if DeBuzz is able to maintain any sense of a lead here. The start to Stadium, I feel, actually benefited DeBuzz pretty heavily. Yeah, and I mean, we'll see how much value DeBuzz gets off this double purple. And as I say, it's 61 on the board, and here comes Arsene to play <laughs> off one conversion. That's definitely like some Peach-esque thing that would happen, right? Like yeah. Peach just gets her one, you know, standard string, and then from zero to boom, Arsene. <laughs> just trying to figure out why he's coming out to play so fast. Like, whoa, man, you ca <laughs> called on me a little too early. What happened? <laughs> Sorry, man. Got comboed by Olimar. Okay, what's the ledge trap here? Gets the, almost Ooh. gets the pivot grab on the roll, but the buzz with the sneaky spot dodge. Very cute response. Non-committal up smash, although he's somehow going to manage to get punished for it. And really cute combo. I love the grappling hook finisher. The cherry on top. I, 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 you, you always got to appreciate the cherries on top. It deals with a little bit of damage, but it also safely allows Tweak to get himself back to stage and establish where he's going to be for one to continue the chain. But a Pikmin with a jump and a hop is going to give game one to DeBuzz. Yeah, right there, trying to catch that landing with the dash attack, but DeBuzz was able to land on the ground quick enough and get that shield out. It can be really tough, especially against some of these uh, floaty meta characters like Peach or Olimar. One of the cons of being floaty is when you're knocked up, 
into a juggle situation, it, can, it's just, it takes longer to get down to the ground and right. get that shield out, right? Um, the Buzz was able to pull that off and get that up smash out of shield. Even though, and, and like I said time and time again, that up smash hits both in front and behind Olimar. So just really, really good coverage, especially when you catch your opponent stretching like that. All right, so Tweak is in the winner side of Grand, so the Buzz does have to win two sets to go ahead and take this entire tournament. Of course, we are here in New York, Aeon Gaming return of Yoshi Island. And we're also going to be returning to Pokemon Stadium, too, for this game. I love how the logo's in the middle. Got to say. Yeah, it's a, nice, it's a nice touch. Pretty swag, if I do say so myself. Always got to do it up nice in the house. But seeing as we have returned here, I'm curious to see what Tweak's game plan is going to be. Just because, like, I feel like you played the matchup fine. Yeah. But there's so much space for DeBuzz to be able to run and safely reestablish his Pikmin lineup or figure out, like, if he wants to go in aggressively or just zone out. Like, the platforms in particular, I think, actually give a lot of coverage from the downward guns. They're not going to have a lot of merit here. And because Olimar has a pretty respectable dash, he's able to find cover really quickly. And th one thing that's really weird that uh, me and Tweak noticed while we were studying this matchup is when uh, when there's a Pikmin attached on the Joker, like on the top of Joker's head, it can be really hard to like hit the Pikmin off. And you saw earlier he like tried to do like three different arrows to try and get the white Pikmin off, and he just took a bunch of damage. So it it's really weird. Um, definitely something that maybe. We just have to test out and see what moves hit and what areas maybe you can't hit the Pikmin off. Because there's some characters that certain Pikmin attach in a certain area, they just can't get it off. Yeah, it's it's really peculiar. To my knowledge, Joker's best response in that situation is to try and do like a like a double jump Rebel's Guard. Like, get himself high oh, up there, saying, charge like up that Rebel meter, and then by that time, the Pikmin's either going to fall itself or, off or like the pop of Rebel's Guard will end up maybe hitting the Pikmin. It's a really specific situation, though, and I don't even know if it's, like, specific enough for DeBuzz to leverage. Wow, and that fair range is gigantic with our sent out. Okay, ooh, wow, fourth throw right into the dash tag. The Pikmin ticks. Okay, tries to get the counter on the Pikmin tick, but just already went off. And there, that jab is so good. Frame four has so much of range, especially with our send. Oh, the, the, the awakened jab is actually one of my favorite options for Joker. It does such a good job against characters, especially of the shorter height of being able to just further pressure them, further move the battle to the ledge in your favor. Here's a grab coming out from the Buzz, the purple snipe. I believe he still has the double jump here. Yep, I'm gonna go and grab a right to there. Down smash, looks like kind of a weak hit. Oh, I like the guns right into the grab as well. Such a, and like, that's the thing too, like down guns combos in the things. Like, it's so crazy, I've seen kill confirms, I've seen like damage strings come out from that. I like the air dodge to get into the ledge trap situation. And from that, gets the back air. All right, just like that. Tweak of the lead, although a pretty bloody one at that. And all right. Oh, hey, man. Whoa, whoa. You, you, you directly calmed up with Tweak. What's, what's going on? I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, another Arsene comes out to play. And I, the white Pikmin is no joke. It does a, a lot of damage. Yeah, so. no, like the dot for, for Pikmin is pretty noticeable. Are you dead? Jeez. <laughs> you almost. I, the buzz saw his life flash before his eyes. But, but the spot the, dodge smash attacks. All good right. old spot dodge smash attack for good old uh, Buzzbee <laughs> slash Olimar, man. It's a, it's a specialty. Ooh, really There's good spot dodge. some things you can't defend about the character. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a good option, right? Then, I mean, if, if you have solid options like that, you're definitely going to use them. Of you're, course. You're not smart if you don't. Hey, listen, if it's, if it's in the rules, like, you're allowed to do it. Yep. The only thing that I know is banned is Pokemon Trainer and Joker in doubles. <laughs> Which did actually manage to affect Tweak and his partner early in the tournament. But yeah. neither here nor there. It said we're getting plenty of up smash that's going to manage to tie up the game count. Time and time again, Tweak gets these up smashes when and where he wants to. And I think that's um, kind of one thing that I get. His Joker's so young. You know what I mean? I definitely don't want to start stating all this craziness. But I, right, I feel right. like he's definitely really good at getting up smash compared to like some of the other Jokers I've watched. So, yeah. I mean, really good stuff to Tweak. I feel like... On the note of the up smash, he makes a really good call of like which side he's facing because yeah. that where he scoops with up smash is really important. Right. No character switches as we move into game three. Yeah, but I I doubt we're gonna see any character switch. Like, no I, I reason. know I know for a fact, uh, Tweak is gonna say Joker. That, at least that's what he told me. So um, unless he just wants to not do that, 
But I, I don't really see a reason for the Rosa, and I don't see a reason for the Palu, honestly. Yeah, no, out of all of the characters, I feel like on paper, Palu would probably be the better option, but DeBuzz has such a fleshed out game plan for what he needs to do for fighting Joker because he's run into the characters multiple times when it comes to travel. Right, and I mean, just in general, this season, um, the buzz is up at least like 2 0 or 3 0, I believe. I know he's the last like two times they played, he's beaten him with Olimar. So, you know what I mean? It's kind of like why switch it up kind of thing. Yeah. It, it could also not be a matchup thing, but a player based thing. So, yeah. It seems like, like Tweak's doing a fine job of mitigating a lot of the Olimar shenanigans, but the buzz in his own right is doing fine with being able to mix up how he's pressuring and like what he's deciding to do against Tweak. Because now we're seeing a bit more of the aggro playing more of a mid-range as opposed yeah. to the further ranges. Now that Tweak has a good idea of how he can play in the long range game. There's the gun. Oh man, Conway right into the forward air, leading into an offstage situation. The fly. Oh, and the up smash connects, but Town and City with those gracious ceilings. It's a second Lisa. Like off smash had a shield when we got them. Whoa, there. Speaking of which. <laughs> up smash had a shield got him. Yeah, and I mean, both these characters with great up smash out of shields. Uh, obviously, for Tweak, it's going to be more in the situation when the Buzz does a rising arrow onto a shield. That's when he can kind of snatch up Olimar. Oh, again, there's the Rebel Guard. Going to get a tad bit of meter there. It definitely wasn't a white Pikmin, but something. Yeah, but that's nearly half the meter, and that's not even accounting for if he gets hit by anything else. Like, look at that. We almost have our send back on stage. This is where things can get very nasty, because if Tweak gets one more Arsene, he can just kill the second sock, which would be just such a huge snowball effect, which is why another thing that just in general, I think with Joker, Arsene is a comeback mechanic, but I also feel like it's a, a snowball mechanic. Definitely. It, it like, it's both, which just, I just feel like it's really, really strong. And in this matchup in particular, I feel like there's so many ways for, for Tweak to be able to leverage the Rebels guard. And it's just naturally part of the Buzz's game plan. So it's not like he can even stop throwing Pikmin. You can't really ask any Pikmin player to stop using their main tool. <laughs> yeah, I, that definitely would not be smart. <laughs> no, it's like, I don't even think Olimar could do like a Solomar in this game compared to previous iterations of Smash. Oh, yeah. It, it's so important. The forward throw and tweak just slowly ledge trapping the buzz into his doom. Going to the left side of the stage, maybe take a little different scenery, but again, getting grabbed, getting thrown off trying to chase him with the guns, but when there's only one or no Pikmin, the wing Pikmin are fast enough to avoid gun pressure. Actually, the kill? Nah, nah, not even close. No, we're getting to the point where down throw might be killing off yeah. the Yeah. I mean, we, we're on town, so maybe, and Tweak has no rage, but our sand meter is getting quite healthy here. Okay, back throw, almost does it. Wow. Next back throw? Question mark? <laughs> oh, wait, okay. All well, right, he just needs to breathe on him. He, yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Down, down throw. throw. Yeah. There yeah. we go. Oh, oh wow. wow. Town City, yo. That, that, the buzz DI, though. Is he going to get shot up? Going to go to the right side? Yes, we are. Okay, see you. All right, please. There you go. The buzz, I don't even think the buzz tried the DI that one. He was just like, yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> At 205, I really hope. At this time, like, the buzz, instead of DIing, he just took his time to, like, wipe his hands or something. Like, <laughs> I mean, he's sitting on last stock. And this transformation is so good for down gun camping. Like, Tweak can still stay in a range where he can threat on the ground, but then also, like, weave in and out with down gun. Or, like, am I going to falling aerial, or am I going to double jump down gun and drift back onto one of these platforms? It's so, so good. Yeah, this is one of those instances where, like, even though your opponent might have a ton of cover for avoiding the down guns, you're still denying them a ton of space. Yeah. And it's also high enough where if they try to respond to you, like, you can land on the platforms and you have your countermeasures prepared. And wow, look at that. The, the side Bs are doing work. And I really want to point out, it is pretty difficult to hit side B on shorter characters like Olimar. So um, just really great precision coming out from Tweak. Yeah, that's but, one thing I'm, I'm actually really impressed with the tool he's using. Of all of them, like how well he's able to space Aya. We oh. are going to see triple purple come up, though. Oh, no. Oh, OK. The, I thought the white Pikmin was the last one he pulled. Oh, and he accidentally be... chucked a purple. Oh, yikes. I don't know what he, the buzz might be searching for a blue to have on board. That and... macro game looking weak. <laughs> oh, yo. Come on, man. Let's go just fast. Come on, DeBuzz. Everyone knows about StarCraft <laughs> jokes now. <laughs> it's just funny because the buzz always compares. Like, he said this. The buzz said that playing Almar is like playing StarCraft. And I just heavily have to disagree with that because I've played StarCraft. 
I couldn't tell. I, I can't tell if he says it in a meaning way or not, but it's not looking like a hot argument right now. <laughs> Yeah, you know, pro StarCraft players have 300 average APM, but you know, I doubt all. I don't. I don't know about all Mar players having 300 APM, bro. <laughs> I mean, right now he's done a pretty good job of bringing it back. It's last stock, but he's got to get through this Arsene. No purples online though. That's a really big deal. So he's taking his time on this platform. Okay, the white is attached here. Oh, he white effect off. is especially useful when Arsene is out, Jeez. just because that extra dot is going to be super important for getting Other rid side? of Arsene faster. Yeah. Can he stall out the rest of this Arsene, the dash attack? The up smash comes in. This Arsene is gone. Ooh. Wow, the buzz bringing this right back. The guns and the double purple is out to play. This is a very different game from before. <laughs> yeah, now we got to really see if uh, if Tweak can tie up these kills at higher percentages. The buzz is getting enough mileage to go to nearly 200. Starting to uh, be a bad look for Tweak. As we're starting to look at tied percentages here. This lineup is so scary late game. This is the kill squad. Yes, the super kill squad. Like you have all the threat of purple, but then of course if you grab with blue, it's a disaster. Wow, oh. that kill from center stage. I didn't think it was going to kill from center stage. That was even with the, he might have jumped, I think. That was with really good DI too, but he just like sort of lifted and that might have killed him. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I was pretty confident that backer wasn't going to kill, just because we were on town and it's center stage, but I guess yeah. just enough rage, maybe the jump killed him. Like, man, that was that was a nail biter. Like, that was so, so close. And the buzz just did such a good job of slowing things down, beating out that last Arsene, which was such a big deal, right? Yeah. And then just really came down to the wire there. All right, this is, this might be the end of the line for the buzz. He's hovering over Town and City, and that is going to be the pick. Looks like he's taking his time, do what he can to recenter himself. We had a really good game there, but yeah, and I mean, those games are always just like the damn it, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, it's like he almost had it, but now it's like the pressure's really on. Yeah, Tweak is one game away from winning. Return to Yoshi's Island. Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll see if he can do it. I definitely have. Faith in the Buzz's ability to adapt, at least take one set, but we'll see. Tweak has been playing very well. The, the lead trapping very, um, very, very good throughout this entire tournament, honestly. Man, hasn't gotten touched at all. Look at this down gun doing work. The use of mixing up whether or not he's on base plat or if he's on the uh, the ledge plat has been Ooh. beautiful. Oh, I mean, look at this. Man. Art in motion. Jeez, Tweak is going in right now. Tried to end his soul with that forward smash. Forward smash has got some pretty respectable reach. Yes. <laughs> it's almost like a and more power. It's almost like a more honest version of Ivy Source forward smash in a way. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a pretty heavy lunge forward. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And a pretty heavy lean back as well. Yeah. Man, and Arsene has not even come out to play yet. That's the crazy thing. No, nah, that's you see, that's the thing with Joker's value is that like, yeah, Arsene, crazy good. But Joker in his own right is able to do so much that even before Arsene comes out, he's able to establish stage control, he's able to rack up damage, he can threaten kill. Like this character is able to offer so much so fast. So wait here, gonna go for the platform, get some Pikmin pulls, and that's gonna be the double purple. Ooh. Look at the buzz just stalling out on this platform. Gets another grab here. And, but that was a lot of meter burned out here for Tweak. <gasps> the footstool? That was oh, cute. Oh, oh, he gets the down yeah. tilt, though. That oh, was crazy. I love it. So, <laughs> the so gun, gun footstool is hype. Gun's footstool is true, like with or without Arsene. Yeah. But like. It's definitely easier to do with Arsene for sure. And look at that. Give me that oh. meter. But at what cost? He was not able to reach the uh, the ledge there. Yeah, no, he's got to figure out the spacings. The, the smash. He definitely, I think he could have gotten back, right? The Animal Crossing stages are the most forgiving when it comes to grappling hook recover, recovery options. Okay. Like, there's something about the layout of the stage and its ledge that's very forgiving about how you can return with grappling hook. It's just a matter of drifting inwards enough to be able to actually proc it to go to ledge. Tweet right there if you notice the double jump out of shield. He was, he was probably trying to do the footstool uh, down gun. Man, and look at that. He connected an aerial and a dash attack from the down gun. Like, this move is insanely good. The jab block, though, going to be a ton of damage. Ooh, especially with the yellow confirming the second hit. But All you know right. what comes with a ton of damage? Your boy Arsene. There he is. You're, oh, wow. Didn't go for the up air there. Let's do it again. Okay, goes for the forward air there. Tweak opting for a very violent finish to this tournament, potentially. As he's just 
continuing to beat down on Device. Yeah, and the thing about with this Arsene, even though, even if he doesn't get the stock, he's racked up the buzz to the point where it's like, okay, like, I don't need Arsene to kill you anymore. I can just get a solid back air, get a solid forward tilt at the ledge, and that's gonna be your stock. That was cute. The white Pikmin chilling on stage, so Debuzz had an option for being able to return with a hitbox while still having the, the freedom of flying with no Pikmin. We'll see if we can close this out with no Arsene, though, because the buzz. I mean, we saw in the last game, right? He's so good at holding these stocks when he needs to. Another grab here, back throw off stage. Oh, wow, and even, like, the, the platform kind of being a ceiling for Tweak. Tech chase, okay. Gonna get the tech away there, but off stage. I think if Purple was the one to come out, that might have actually threatened to kill, but... Yeah, yeah. Unfortunate oh, ordering. Really? Wow. That Yo! one was killed on Town and City! Jeez, Blue Pikmin is very strong. Forward tilt center stage, not quite enough. Okay, the Buzz has to ditch all of his Pikmin, but the Purple, and that's the one he needs, the up air connects. Of course, all right, but he's sitting at 173. Regular dash attack, almost threatening kill. Right. Double purple online, though. We saw this on the first set of stocks, too, where they got very close in percentage, and it tied itself up right quick. But this is what's leaving DeBuzz in his final stock of the tournament, potentially. And that that was good regardless. Even though he could have maybe gotten a little bit more damage, but Tweak had such a huge lead, right? And the fact that the buzz even brought it back to even just really goes to show how great of a player he is. Just really able to slow the match down and just really make himself very hard to kill. It's a very it's a very valuable trait to hold with Olimar as well because like we already touched on this. He's small. He's light. He's dying at the faintest of touches potentially. So the fact right. that the buzz has been able to to tank all of these stocks super well, it's just a great mark of character. But now is where the pressure's on because this is equally potentially the last Arsene of this match. Oh, cross up, no cross. Man, if he crossed him up, that could have been the stock. Try to go for another grab, another scramble situation. But here comes the guns, the parries, the into the grab. Shoot him up oh. into the. Wow, he didn't do anything, and the down smash connects for Tweak. He's gonna defeat the Buzz.